The number of suicides are increasing across the country, according to a recent report by the Center for Disease Control. Good evening to you. I'm Heather Lewis. This report was released just as another celebrity, Chef Anthony Bourdain, died by suicide this week. Color 10's Jennifer Abreu took a look at the numbers and is here to explore this data with us tonight. Jennifer. Heather, I talked to a mental health expert today who says there is a teachable moment in this tragedy when the death of a high-profile individual brings the topic of suicide to the surface. It creates an opportunity for us to talk about it and work towards normalizing mental health and its prevention. The important thing is to talk about it. Susie Henderson is the vice president of special projects at Borough Behavioral Health. She's worked in the mental health industry for more than 30 years. Sometimes we feel like that if we talk about it, oh, that someone may commit suicide. And yet, really, the opposite is true. She says concerned loved ones shouldn't be afraid to start a conversation about mental health or suicide. They've heard it from you that hmm, there's someone that cares and is concerned because then it could be later when I'm thinking about this that maybe I'll call you. A recent study by the CDC shows that in 2016, nearly 45,000 Americans aged 10 or older died by suicide. From 1999 to 2016, both Missouri and Arkansas saw an increase of 36 percent in suicide deaths. Suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the United States. Multiple factors can lead a person to make that choice and the signs aren't always clear. They can go from being really sad to really irritable or sleeping a lot. So the changes in behavior, another person may feel some of those very same things, but I cover it up better. You know, I put a smile on my face. I've got a job. I'm going to work. I've got to be here. Researchers found that more than half of people who died by suicide did not have a diagnosed mental health condition. A person doesn't become suicidal without some other things going on. The top contributing factors listed in the report were relationship problems, a period of crisis, and substance misuse. Henderson says decreasing these numbers will start by talking about mental health the same way we talk about physical health. 